I'm John Hibbard, and I'm the founder and CEO here at Red Pelican. I, I wake up and I pretty much start thinking about Red. That's that's almost my first, first thoughts, and that's almost my last thoughts of the day. Uh, and I think if you ask any founder or entrepreneur, there is a level of addiction when it comes to trying to achieve your goals and build a company, build a team. Um, that. You can't do that nine to five. You, you have to be in it, you have to be immersed in it. When you have an idea and you start a business, you don't inherit normally 35 people. You have to, you have to do everything yourself. You have to do the, the ideas for a product, you have to do the shipping, you have to do accounts, you have to do all of that stuff. And when, you, when it grows and when you're able to grow the business, I, one of my favorite things is, is almost stepping back and looking at all the people you know, and the teams. And I'm so proud of the amount of work everyone puts into it, the dedication they have for the, for, the, for the business, but also the products and the sport. And, you know, I will come up with ideas sometimes and, and I will be told, no, we can't, we're not doing that because that doesn't fit the way we want to we wanna go. And it's great to have be told that, to have that, to come, have that come back at you. Um, and I think that's the culture we have here. It's not, it's not, it's not one-sided, it's not just being told what to do. Everybody is influenced, and it's the people that the people that drive it for me. It, it, whenever anyone comes into the into the office or into the building, that is the perf that's the best sort of measure of of the of your success or of your of whether or not you've got it right. Everyone comes in, they walk through. We take them through the we do the little tour around the, around the building. We, we we introduce them to people, and. And it's their response actually that makes me feel the best about what we've done. They, they walk away and go, oh, I wish I worked here. I wish, I wish uh, my company was like this. Have you got any jobs? You know, that sort of thing. And that, that makes me smile because uh, that's exactly what we've been trying to achieve. But you, you can't fake that stuff. That's, that's just, that happens or it doesn't happen through the culture of the business. So that's, that's kind of what I'm trying to get across is the, you know, it, there's nothing fake about it. You come in and you see it, you see the people, you see, you see how it all works, how it all gels together. And that's therefore what I'd like to try and show more people because if you're buying our products or you, you, you use our products, you don't get to come into our office all the time. And I think so many companies are, are a little bit fake or, or they present a slightly different face to actually what the reality is. But I, I'm pretty sure if you could go around our office here and talk to the people, you get a pretty similar answer from everybody else. They feel they're here for the right reasons. For me, the next 15 years is gonna be very much like the first 15 years, and it's about staying true to your initial vision uh, and not trying to wander too far away from that, not trying to go too quickly. It's about quality over quantity. So it's not about coming up with a 150 new products or different areas so we're not about to start making electric bikes for example it's about staying true to your original idea sure you can develop it and you can come up with some with some new products to make it easier and, and improve the experience but it's if it's a good enough idea there should be years of growth and years of opportunity very close to the nucleus of your original idea and for me that's exactly what red's all about it's it's being in and around the water and helping people and inspiring people to get outside and and be adventurous I met a guy at the Southampton Boat Show and I was just chatting to him on the stand and uh, he goes, oh, I come down to Cornwall, or Devon, in Cornwall quite often. Uh, my parents uh, have a camper van that come down. Next time I'm down, I I'll give you a call. And he needed, he needed a new a bit of um, a new fin bolt, I think. So I thought, I'll just send you a fin bolt, give me your address. Give me your address. And so I sent the fin bolt and I wrote in there, said, you know, give me a call next time you're down. And he, he called me up and I, it was a couple of weekends ago, and uh, he goes, you said you want to go for paddle, but I'm not sure if that's actually what you meant. I'm like, no, I'm well up for that. So like on a Saturday afternoon, I went to Totnes and I met, I pumped a couple of boards up and we went for a paddle. And he, he said, wait, why are, you do, why are we paddling? Why are you, did you come with me to do this paddle? And I was like, like, I think he thought I was trying to sell him something. I was like, I thought, I thought we were just going paddle board. I mean, and I said that I didn't think it was a, and I think he thought we were almost a massive corporate that, you know, and I was bullshitting him on the, yeah, come and paddle with us. We're a nice bunch, but actually, I just, I just didn't even think about it. I said, yeah, it's a good pattern. <laughs>